Hi friends, thanks for stopping by my channel, The Home Decor Ideas, where I share stylish and creative ideas to help you do what makes you happy in your home. Speaking of what makes you happy in your home, this video will be all the inspiration you need to make your home beautiful. All right, let's jump right onto it. Space is a state of mind, but it can be difficult to think big when you lack physical square footage. If you have given up on that tiny space, you should call a dining room and resort it to TV diners on the couch night after night. Allow us to inspire a much needed redesign. Today, I am giving you some ideas that you can use to make the smallest amount of unused space into a formal dining room. Because even a small studio apartment in the city deserve a designated area for candlelit dinners and early morning coffee breaks. So if you are in need of extra seating in a tight space, Swap the common square table design for a circle shaped table. Without forgetting in the way, you will be free to comfortably fit more chairs. One of the best space saving ways to create a dining area is to install a corner bench of the kitchen for, the bre for a breakfast nook. And the best part is, if done correctly, your breakfast nook bench can double as extra storage underneath. Dress it up with pillows and a comfy cushion and you'll be sure to enjoy this space, this space morning, afternoon and night. If you don't have an entire corner to spare, you can opt for a single bench to fake a kitchen nook for morning cappuccinos. To save space, push a bench up against a wall and hang a cushion back using a curtain rod and hanging pillows. If you end up eating your meals in the kitchen, anyway, we recommend making your small space multifunctional. Placing a large table in the middle of your kitchen not only converts it into a formal dining room, but it pulls double duty as a functional kitchen island as well. Just because you are working with a small dining space doesn't mean it. this nook doesn't deserve the attention you'd give the large rooms in your home. A stylish touches like a bold paint color, gallery wall setup, a centerpiece and hanging greenery will make your tiny dining room look and feel like a significant space. Sometimes the most difficult part about carving a dining room out of limited square footage is establishing it as its own space. Hanging a statement pendant directly over your dining table will quite literally give it the spotlight it deserves. Doing so will create a much needed separation from other areas, making it an established space with its own purpose. If you have a single room to work with, who said you can't create two rooms in one? Position a rug in the living room and use the negative space as the perfect placement for your dining area. All you really need is a spare corner to sit and enjoy your meals. The truth is, you really don't need a designated dining area to enjoy your favorite meals. Instead of designing a formal dining room, enjoy the perks of a larger kitchen when you take up unclaimed counter space. However, if you like putting labels on things, push a table up against the island for a casual dining area that feels less like a cooking space. 
Rather than positioning a setup in the middle of the room, pushing a square dining table up against a window or wall is the quickest way to save space. Plus, if you have a free window in your apartment, you'll love the feeling of enjoying your morning coffee while soaking in the views. And the best part is you pull the table out when you are entertaining and scoot it back in after they leave to maximize your small space. There is no space too small to establish a formal dining space. Mount a tiny table onto an empty wall for a floating breakfast and lunch and dinner nook that barely takes up any space at all. Sometimes the best approach for combating minimal space is to work with an equal minimal color palette, incorporating bright whites and natural decor accents will give the illusion of a larger room. Bulky furniture will always make a small space feel even smaller. When designing your small dining room, opt for minimal stools without arms to save space. Pair your stools with a dining table that mimic the same minimal design to give the illusion of a larger error space. If you have even a slightest bit of extra space between your kitchen and living room, consider making this your formal dining room. Establish a clear separation between your tiny dining room, your living room and your kitchen by positioning your table and chairs on a rug and hanging a pendant light or a chandelier above. If you are working with a studio apartment or a small open concept layout, a bookcase or a modular shelving, double duties as a cute breakfast nook while also creating added storage. It's a win-win especially in the place where storage is of the essence. The smallest table with the biggest impact is none other than the French style bistro table. The minimal black table with a marble top feels modern and will make your kitchen the most Instagrammable spot in town. No matter how small your apartment is, there is always room for a place to enjoy a meal with family and friends. If you have an empty wall, you have the space to mount a shelf that doubles as a breakfast bar. Pull up some stools and you have got yourself a 24 hour space to dine. No matter how small or big a space is, it can always benefit from a large wall to wall mirror setup. The reflection instantly creates the illusion that any room is larger than it really is. High contrast designs have a way of making any space feel bigger. The deep navy shade on the walls paired with light, bright whites and black accents make the small dining room feel like a quiet space at the back of a trendy restaurant. Clean lines and minimal decor will always leave more room for negative space. The more negative space, the bigger any room will appear. The corner bench seating along the wall around table, dedicated overhead lighting, it all works together to make the most of the limited square footage. And the best part is, it doesn't lack on style one bit. That is it for today's video. I hope you have got at least one new idea or learned one new thing that you didn't know. If you did, please give this, this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and come back for the next video. Bye and have a nice day.